Cup for experiment number seven, Newton's second law. And the main objective of this experiment is to verify Newton's second law. Okay, so this is how our setup works. Okay, we have here our fast car, and we have this weight here attached to a string. Okay, attached to a string. Um, this string is tied at the end of the fast car as well as on this weight. Okay, so um, the setup goes like this. Okay, it's just like okay. The first step is that okay, we have to make sure that this weight is touching the end of the spoon. Okay, and making sure that this fast car is at its, its stationary position and measure its distance okay, from we measure this distance, okay, taken from this distance, and the measurement shows that. From here up to here, the distance is at 73.5 centimeters. Okay. Now, what is that distance at the end? It is written at 120.2 centimeters. Now, the original setup just goes like this. Okay. Release this fast part or make and yeah, a slight force so that this fast car moves from this point up to this point with the aid of this weight. Anyway, the, the weight of this, um, the weight of this mass, or we should say, the mass of this object here is written at part of the okay? And at this, and, and, and this object weighs um, 272 grams. And how do we know it? Okay, use this um, balance here. Okay, I earlier measured the mass of the pass car and it was written at 270 grams. Okay, so now as has been guided and has been provided by, 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 by the end of the setup or by the end of the experiment, let's follow through and let's go see. Okay, so. Let me show you the real, um, the real happiness, okay, or the real events in our experiment in nursing. Okay, let me show the setup to you. Okay, it is there. So the summary of all the data that I gathered from this experiment are shown on table numbers 7.1 and 7.2. So the summary of all these data are presented in the next couple of slides. Based on these tables, table 7.1 shows that the mass of mass R is at 272 grams. And then hanging mass. Remember that object, that small object hanging on the string is measured at 1 gram. Okay? And these are the times where the spans, I mean the time spans, you can say, when the pass bar at 73.5 centimeters reached, reach, I should say, 102.2 centimeters. And that's what, and what I mean is that we traveled from 73.5 centimeters down to 102, 102.2 centimeters. So these are the figures. Okay. For trial number one, I have Three. I mean, for the first set of trials, for trial number one, I have 3.04 3 seconds for that, 3.18 seconds for trial number two, 3.07 seconds for trial number three, for trial number four, that's 3.08, trial number five, that's 3.20. Okay, in the next set of trials, I have 3.05 seconds for the first trial, 3.08 seconds for the second trial, 3.01 seconds for the third trial. 3.12 seconds for the fourth trial and 3.04 seconds for the fifth trial. Okay, it's up to you to compute for the total distance covered by the movement and the average time for all of these time spans listed in the table. Okay, for table 7.2, 
okay? It's up to you to compute for the accelerations given these masses for our car mass. For in that case, the mass R. Okay, we have here our formula, okay? That's m sub 1 plus m sub 2 times a and the net force and that is given at, and that is given in the formula m, m sub 2 times g and compute for percent error. You are too wise to answer all these questions. So I believe that you will be able to get correct answers.